Hey guys, welcome to Motorrides.com. My name is Amit Changani, and uh, today we are testing the Land Rover Range Rover Sport. And this car comes equipped with uh, the Touch Pro Duo infotainment system, which is rather new to some of the uh, new generation Land Rover cars. And this is also available in the Velar. And a lot of people are interested in what this infotainment system can do and how it's different from a lot of other infotainment systems that are available right now. So we thought that we'll do this quick video and make you go through all the features that are available on this infotainment system, how it's different. And uh, it essentially comprises of these two 10 inch screens, which are very high resolution, very, very glossy. They look very nice. Uh, the sheen on the screen surface looks very nice. You know, it, it adds to the richness of the cabin. However, when you look at it from certain angles, there are a lot of reflections. So that's one part that we are not very fond of, but the response to touch is very very good and uh, it responds almost instantly to your touch so in that sense it's very good very modern very very contemporary uh, both these screens are 10 inch uh, and they work in tandem with uh, each other also you have this instrument console uh, on the Range Rover Sport which is a 12 inch screen however that's a separate unit and we're going to talk uh, about the center console only so the top part of this uh, infotainment system comprises uh, of functions uh, related to the infotainment system and uh, things which are uh, related to things like camera, audio, telephony, etc. And the functions related to the vehicle and uh, the air conditioner are on this lower tilted screen. So to start off with the good, the first good feature that uh, the screen has is that it can be tilted so that it is at the right angle for you you're comfortable looking at it so you can change the screens angle so that's a very good feature and uh, once you have done that you're comfortable you can start with the camera so this car unfortunately doesn't have too many cameras uh, this comes only with one rear camera but there are some other models which come with more cameras and uh, that obviously will be integrated uh, with the system and here as you can see the one camera has uh, two viewing angles so you can see the two angles uh, by double pressing on the camera icon you can uh, turn the parking aid on or off using uh, this button here then you can uh, initiate the park assist using uh, this icon here and you obviously have navigation so this is the icon for navigation and you can uh, either type in the address that you want to go to or you can use the voice commands to uh, feed in a destination then you have your telephony and right now one of uh, our phones is paired with the system you can use that phone for uh, playing your audio and at this point in time this specific system is connected to a meridian system which is 825 watt and uh, connected with 18 uh, speakers uh, so it's a fabulous sounding system it also comes with a lot of presets uh, including uh, Dolby and uh, uh, Meridian's own preset then you can choose uh, uh, from among sources and right now uh, we are playing radio so it's, show it's showing uh, the current frequency that we're playing you can also pair a new uh, phone using this Bluetooth uh, icon here this settings gear is uh, something interesting and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it however if you swipe on the main screen you'll be taken to uh, some settings which are not just related to the cameras and uh, the audio and the entertainment but a few other things which are pertaining to the vehicle as well and this special bit is very very interesting where, where uh, the Range Rover Sport lets you know about all its dimensions its length its width and a lot of other things uh, and its uh, approach departure angles its breakover angle so it's very interesting in fact when we were doing the review of this car uh, we managed to get all this data from this screen itself so it's very interesting to see uh, it also is available in the live mode where uh, you can actually see uh, the wheels tilt angle and uh, uh, the slope so all of that data is available uh, on these screens which is very very interesting so this is uh, one of the screens you just have to swipe to go through the various different screens that, screens that you have here and uh, you have some apps uh, which are in control infotainment system enabled and right now we don't have them installed here uh, this is the system that I was talking about where uh, this system lets you know about the various uh, parameters so this is the off-road information which lets you know about the 
steering angle as you can see it's showing me the angle of uh, the wheel as I steer so that's a good feature it also shows me various different things like you know uh, the slope angle or the tilt angle so that again is uh, interesting it also would let me know the mode engaged so right now the echo mode is engaged and uh, there are other modes this is a comfort mode uh, this is a snow sand uh, grass mode so there are various different modes available on the terrain, terrain response system and you can see which mode is engaged and it also gives you a good understanding of what these modes specifically do now there is a special feature uh, on the Range Rover uh, Sport which is the low traction launch and this is meant for conditions where your tires are stuck in a situation where there is not enough traction available and if you launch the car the, car, the wheels will keep spinning in the same place without the car moving forward so you can engage the low traction launch mode and uh, once you do that the car will try uh, a lot more to make sure that it moves out uh, of that low traction scenario and gets you out of it so you essentially have to keep the vehicle stationary and take the foot off accelerator and have one of the off-road modes activated to uh, make use of uh, this mode apart from that you have uh, ambient lighting you can choose from many colors for ambient lighting and as you can see probably you would be able to see the colors uh, on uh, this side uh, which change when you choose various uh, different colors so you can uh, also adjust the brightness etc and uh, we have already shown you the camera uh, a lot of uh, this is uh, rather simple and self explanatory so that should not be a problem for you to understand but it's interesting and it's the the graphics on this interface are very nice it responds very well to touch it's very nice very rich so feels very nice and that glossy look although not very functional and quite a bit of fingerprint magnet uh, but it looks very nice when it's clean and adds a very nice glassy uh, very rich uh, look to the cabin the lower screen essentially controls uh, the functions related to the aircon and uh, moving from the left if you go to the settings you'll see that uh, you'll have a display uh, tab where you can select what would be the startup screen whether it's climate or driver modes or you don't want any features or you want media or phone or the last used feature so that's something that you can choose from here and uh, you can also control uh, a few features about uh, the climate and uh, this in this uh, climate control system also comes with an ionizer and uh, an air purifier so it's an advanced uh, HVAC system and uh, that's that but apart from that this uh, mode also allows you to uh, choose from various different uh, driving modes off-road modes terrain response so this is a grass gravel snow program you have uh, mud ruts program and you also have uh, the sand program you can choose from any one of these programs and it actually works uh, we have been using this car for the past two days and we took it in some uh, uh, conditions where normal off-roaders uh, or other soft roaders would not have been able to get themselves uh, out but this one uh, managed to get out of those conditions uh, effortlessly so it actually is a very very good off-roader and the terrain response system really really works another important and interesting thing that you would notice is uh, this uh, two zone uh, climate control and as you can see right now I'm controlling the temperature but if I press on this you'll see that it's showing me a different display and I can change the heating level on the driver's seat so by pressing it I can change the mode and now it goes back to the temperature similarly pressing on this will bring up the heating mode for the passenger seat pressing it once more uh, after pressing the flow control I can control the flow of air through the AC vents so that's also a little different uh, recirculation is here then you can control the heating uh, on the seats using this dedicated tab here as well and uh, I can turn the heating off by using these buttons here and then there is a dedicated screen for climate which controls the flow from uh, over the windscreen right on my face or through the legs and I can turn it on or off also I can control the climate at the rear by clicking on it and uh, when I press on the power button I can actually control the flow at the rear AC vent as well so it's a very nicely uh, thought out 
infotainment system very good to control and uh, it's very responsive we quite liked using it uh, initially it may come across as a little intimidating for people who are using it for the first time but it's very nice uh, and uh, if ever you are uh, going to use a land rover range rover car i hope that uh, this walk through would be useful to you to understand how it works and uh, if you like the video do hit the like button subscribe to motoroids share this video with your friends who may be interested in knowing how this entire system works and until next time then this is amit changani signing off uh, rev hard rev free and drive safe